With the GoCurrency.com sports ticker, I'm Tim Mulhelped on the Huskers radio network. Happy Wednesday, Huskers fans. Nebraska football once again made players and staff available to the media as we march on with fall camp. Offensive coordinator Mark Whipple discussed his offense in detail today, including his plans for the running back room on game day. Well, today, right now, we got a few of them down uh, health-wise. So, no, we haven't, you know, we'll play. I'd like to play three. You know, that's kind of what we did the last couple of years at Pittsburgh where, you know, but, you know, it's a long season, Big Ten's physical conference, so we want to get them all worked that way. But we're running through all of them. I thought they had a really good scrimmage last last weekend and uh, have done, done a lot of good things. And we'll hear from Coach Whipple later in hour one. Elsewhere in college football today, Wake Forest quarterback Sam Hartman was announced that he'll be out indefinitely for a non-football medical condition for a statement released by Wake Forest today. The university declined to give specifics as to respect the privacy of Hartman, but encouraged fans to show their support for the star quarterback. Demon Deacons head coach Dave Clawson did say he expects Hartman to return, but it's too early to tell when that time will be. Hartman helped lead the Demon Deacons to an 11-win season last year, and we, of course, wish him the best wishes to a speedy recovery. And good luck to incoming Nebraska women's gymnast Chenge Bakai, who is set to compete for Team Hungary in the 2022 European Championships in Munich, Germany, from August 11th to August 14th. Over to pro sports tonight in Major League Baseball. A lot of games already final today, uh, and we'll go through those first. The Mariners' late comeback win over the Yankees, 4-3. to three. The Cubs bested the Nationals, 4-2. to two. The Brewers topped the, Bra- uh, the Rays, 4-3. to three. The Mets dominated the Reds, 10-2. to two. And then for the upcoming games, or excuse me, the current games in action, it's in the extras, it's Angels and the A's. They're in the 11th, tied at four. That's actually heading to the 12th as we speak. The Padres starting to get that offense going after a slow start to the post-trade deadline part of their schedule. Now have 13 runs on uh, the Giants this afternoon. Their lead is 13-7 to in the top of the seventh. Once again, the rain delays are prominent at least in one game today and that's the Blue Jays and the surging Orioles Uh, that one is in rain delay uh, hoping to get started shortly a few other games that will get started in a few minutes Marlins taking on the Phillies Uh, first pitch any second now Braves and Red Sox will go at 610 as will the Guardians and Tigers at 710 we'll see the White Sox meet the Royals as well as the Rangers meeting the Astros then at 740 the Cardinals will battle the Rockies at 8.40, the Pirates will meet the Diamondbacks. And at 9.10, the Twins make uh, acquaintances with the Dodgers in Los Angeles. And in other MLB news, the Detroit Tigers fired their general manager today, Al Avila, after nearly two decades with the organization, including the last seven years at the helm as of the Tigers as general manager. This update is presented by Currency. Does your business need help financing big ticket items like equipment, trucks, and trailers? Currency is here to help. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelm, and Sports Nightly is next on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. It's a pistol set, then trees, trips to the near side. Snap back, stretch play right to Cook, hit and drop. He'll lose yardage. Garrett Nelson. Garrett Nelson firing from the backside, brings him down. It's a loss of Two, it's now fourth down and three. Lex Rodriguez floats it over, pass by Eagleson, tight to the net, gets it back, swings, block back. Nebraska's got three blocks. Lucy Krause, the night of her life so far. It's 13 9 Big Red. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throw and pass, caught by Manning at the 10. Alludes a point maker to the five. One more Manning dive, touchdown, Nebraska. Light diving, dig Hampton the Libero, now Penn State right front. Johnny Parker, greeted up by Rodriguez. Left front swing, Matty Kubik kill. 23-13, Lexi Rodriguez, a clinic thus far. Buster's second and goal to six. Two wide outs left, two to the near side. Ramir Johnson off to the right. They turn, give it off to Ramir, left side, comes back at the five. He's in, touchdown, Nebraska. Ramir Johnson's third rushing touchdown of the year. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Here we are back another night of Sports Island. So glad you're with us here on a Wednesday night. We're going to have a little practice report. We're going to hear from Mark Whipple coming up in a few minutes. He was not happy today. He said the offense had a bad day. And honestly, folks, 
Kind of glad to hear that. I'm, yeah, I think a lot of people get tired of hearing coaches always saying, great practice, great practice, great practice, and then sometimes Saturday doesn't look very good. So you know there are bad days. Say it when it's a bad day, and he did today. Yeah, I like that too. And Because I do. I mean, you know that not everything is good the whole time, and so when you hear that over and over again, you just – but yeah, being honest and, you know, also probably his guys are going to hear that and yeah. accept that as a challenge. They're off tomorrow. And I here, here's they're at the point of the camp, Jessica, where it's monotonous. They can't quite see the light at the end of the tunnel. Northwestern is still over two weeks off. They are tired. They're beaten down. They've been going. This is now into week three of this deal. This is where it gets hard. Yeah. Because the fun of being back is is you're done with and you're not in the in the game week yet so this these are the dog days yeah it definitely gets and you're just so sick of seeing the dudes oh. across from you and yes you know it just and probably too the defense may be starting to figure out the offense a little bit more as a you know as they go along and because that that's implementing a new offense and the new wrinkles can be a surprise to the defense but now that they've been seeing it over and over again they're going through the same type of situations they kind of know what's coming a little bit so it also you know provides a little bit of a tougher right. challenge for the offense too but yeah just uh, you got to figure out a way to and you'll hear Casey Thompson talk about this a little bit but just uh, you know times of adversity when it gets hard you got to put your head push down and, and push through yeah and great we are going to hear from the Husker presumed starting quarterback coming up in hour number two he was made available to the media today and, and hey this you're right you, you get tired of banging heads with the same people day after day it's been fairly warm uh you're just every camp in the country hits days like this and it sounded like it really only affected the offense mark whipple said defense whipped our tails today so he goes but but he did kind of follow that up with saying but up until now it's been a good camp so don't feel like that's the whole trend but i i I get it. Every coach will tell you in any sport, you're going to hit a bit of a wall at some point in your preseason work toward the season just because it's it's tough to get up every day and come do the same thing. They don't have the energy yet of students being back on campus. Some are getting here now, starting to take away some of Andrew's parking spots, but <laughs> they're not all here yet. And you're not quite yet to game week where you can really feel the excitement of getting ready to play somebody else. So I, I get it. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried to hear from Mark Whipple today that they had a bad day. Yeah, I mean, and again, it's a, probably a wake-up call that for the offense. You better bring it tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but the next day when they get back on the field because, yeah. you know, uh, leaves a bad taste in your mouth going into a day off. But, yeah, it's, just, it's a long and again, not making any excuses, and um, but it's a long day when they're here for practice because mm -hmm. it's not just they're here for practice and they're done for the day. I mean, they, they are to the meeting rooms. a lot of times when I'm leaving here after this show, they're leaving at the same time or right. you know leaving after that. If so, it's it's a long day, and I know they're you know diving into the film after in between. They have walkthroughs, lifts today. The guys yep. were after they were doing interviews ran off to lift you know that a lot of them had to I didn't get a chance to talk to Teddy because he had to lift at a certain time so he you know had to had to bolt off so you know it's just a lot it's a lot and so it, you and I mean you understand I, I hit a wall sometimes are when you, I have a long day when you interview him are you thinking about like finding a chair and saying Teddy, <laughs> I'm gonna I need, have to I need you to sit down or me stand on it yeah or you get a stool yeah he's big very big very big Andrew and I were sitting there today waiting on Casey and Marcus Washington and he walked by us and we were both just like looking straight up like that is a massive dude. And the great news is by all accounts from the coaches he's had a really good camp so yeah, that's good good news. I think he looks too I mean he's still pretty thin but he was really thin last year you're really thin but he needed to put on some weight and I think he did that and I think he'll still continue to put on weight as he goes along but you know being up close to him I felt like he looked like he had gained some some yeah. muscle and some weight and um so yeah hopefully uh get to talk to him soon it says I didn't get a chance today I think it's really good news because he was held out of spring wasn't recovered from that knee injury yet but looks like ever he's a total green light go for the upcoming season he was so good last year in the northwestern game in fact is where he made his debut as a starter at left left tackle and then it was the next week against michigan that he got hurt and that was unfortunate because it was game five for him so he did not hang on to a red shirt unlike gabe irvin who did keep the red shirt because his injury happened in his fourth game of the year media allowed to watch the first 30 minutes of practice some of their observations turner corcoran did not go through most of the workouts he was out there he was stretching he was in uniform but he was not going 
some kind of injury again Mark Whipple asked about that he just said you got to talk to coach Frost about what's going on with Turner when he's ready to play when the trainers say he's ready to play we'll put him out there he said up until a couple days ago he's having a great camp for us, so I don't think it's a long-term thing AJ Allen who we kind of raved about a little bit earlier in the week in the program was not practicing today he had a, a a foot in a, a bit of a wrap, so that might be an ankle thing. Doesn't I don't think it's a season ender at all for AJ. Uh, so those were some of the observations today. And Devin Drew was out there. The big man can't go through. He's got to go through those three practices without pads, like everybody else did. A really, couple weeks ago. I, I guess I didn't realize that was a he's rule. Got to go through the what do they call that the acclimation oh. part. So he's got to do other things. But uh, he was out there doing some of the drills with the guys that didn't involve any contact. But he's here, he's there, and he's out on the field. That's a big piece. Absolutely. Just to have that depth and to be able to have that rotation. And he's experienced where you, you mix in some guys that even though they're new to the program, they've played a lot of football. But then you um, have some younger guys that aren't as experienced. And so it's good to have that experience. Um, Jeremiah brought up an interesting point about, you know, we'll see how those guys adjust coming from the Big 12 to the Big 10. Because mm -hmm. for him, it was a big time adjustment, figuring out how to play. So right. we'll see, you know, um, but they are guys that have played a lot of football. You mentioned also Turner Corcoran. Of all the guys on the line that are missing a few practices, that's the guy you are the least yeah. worried about missing a few practices. And again, it doesn't sound like it's a long-term thing at all. Maybe it's, I, I don't know, you can speculate all you want, but he just was held out of there today. Drew started 12 games at Tech. So he's made a dozen starts at the Big 12 level. Oshawn made a lot more than that at TCU, but Drew has starting experience at the Power 5 level, so you got to feel like he's going to be a guy that can contribute to this football team. And now that he's here, it may be a bit of a stretch to say he plays much against Northwestern, but I think if and it, by all accounts, he's in fairly good shape. I think he makes a trip. I think so, too. I mean, again, just having that depth and just getting him acclimated, too, of going through a game week. I know it's going to be weird with the schedule because over there and the practice and all of that, but still just getting going through everything you have to go through to get ready and prepped for a game and being with his team, being in, in that room. I just, yeah, I think it'll be important for him to be there if you have the availability as far as numbers go. You want him to continue to bond with right. the team, yep. too. You don't want to just say, okay, you're here for a couple weeks and now, now we're going to see you. We'll see you next Monday when we get back from Ireland. Yeah, yeah, you want him to keep getting acclimated with his new teammates and every time even though he might not be out on the field but he's still going to be watching the game film and learning yes. you know all of that and so yeah I think it'll be um, important it seems like a lot of these guys that are being added on late have really attacked the playbook and film study that in a way that like Marcus Washington again a guy you'll hear from and him talking about how he was ready even though he missed spring here so I, I would imagine Devin Drew's the same case that um, whatever materials were needed for him to study on his own and being that he is an experienced guy you would expect that he did his homework leading up to being here since he's you know joining the club so late. Well, it's always good news. You can add a big body like Devin Drew at this point in time. Again, he's behind. I mean, obviously, they started practice two weeks ago today. So he's he's behind, and he'll know that. Uh, but that's probably one position where there's – not that you don't have to think your way through defensive tackle, but there's usually just a couple things you have to really focus on from that position. It's not like you're learning plays or routes or where to line up. Pretty much line up in the same spot every time. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, and again, being that he's been through this already and has – been a starter and has been out there he also knows how to attack getting himself ready too so yeah all right so mark webble quick clips coming up here in a couple of minutes we want you to be a part of the program every night we want to hear your thoughts about the upcoming season for the big red 402-413-2400 that is the number to call or fire off a text it's our sports nightly hotline brought to you by woodhouse where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned you can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. All right, back with some clips from Mark Whipple and our practice report. That's coming up next. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. 
the 2022 Nebraska football home opener is right around the corner, and we can't wait to welcome the Sea of Red back to Memorial Stadium. Secure your spot as your Huskers take on North Dakota on Saturday, September 3rd at 2.30 p.m. for only $30. A limited number of tickets remain and are only available while supplies last. To get yours today, visit huskers.com slash tickets. Go Big Red. Discover the pinnacle of American automotive design with the all-new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair is your Wagoneer certified dealer, delivering an experience to match the premium quality of your vehicle, making your choice easy. The all-new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer are equipped with state-of-the-art technology, a luxurious, expansive cabin, and confident capability you would expect from this legendary SUV. Visit us in-store or online at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Seasons change, but your land stays the same. You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment, your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam. Acres has what you need to get the job done. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Did you ever buy something and get more, more than you expected? Emeritus offers insurance, employee benefits, and financial services, but we deliver so much more. The comfort of a human voice when you need it, the confidence of flashing a beautiful smile, the relief that your family can keep living the life they love, the serenity of knowing you've planned well and can enjoy life. That's what we really deliver. We call it fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services, and much more. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe healthcare should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker Athletics. Having a competent teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most. With a proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. Visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raised local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. It is a Wednesday night, hump day, right? Getting ready to head to another weekend. Another summertime weekend coming up. Going to be hot outside. Great to go to the lake. All you folks who have boats, I'm jealous this time of year. Good time to get out there and put your feet in the water. Set out a raft, get yourself an iced tea, maybe even a twisted one. Have a good time with, with all that. All right, time now for our practice report. Brought to you by GoCurrency.com, Husker football practice report. And Mark Whipple, the offensive coordinator, met with the media. We've not heard from Whip in over a week. 
So it's been a little bit while. And first question out of the gate kind of teed it up for him. He was asked, how you been feeling, how things have been going with this team? Uh, better before today. But uh, we had a bad day today. Uh, I think the guys were tired. They feel sorry for themselves. Defense did a nice job today. A couple turnovers, but I didn't like the way we responded. Same thing happened in the spring, and so I kind of don't evaluate it till see what happens the next day. We come back raw off and then see what they come back with, trying to build some leadership. But they've been pretty good all the way through. Just today was a, a down day. Again, I find that refreshing. Not the fact that they had a bad day, but that the coach is honest enough to say wasn't good enough. Plus, he knows the players hear these things. Yeah, and it sounds like to me it was very much addressed, too. So, you know, again, none of us were there at the end of practice, but um, I'll bet they were, it was, um, they let it be known that, that was, it needs to be better. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's fine if we're ever, ever to do that. He, he was asked about, uh, is this where leadership shows up? Is this where guys need to kind of grab the football team? And he had an interesting thought about leadership, on at least on his side of the ball. Like I told him today, I can only get you on the sideline. All right, the quarterback's got to take control. Casey's got to be a better. Chubba wasn't those two guys I got on today a little bit. They're the guy in the huddle that speaks where 10 other guys listen. So their conviction and everything else. So, um, But you're going to have those things. As I said, we got 12 games. I, I'd like to think we're gonna, we can win them all, but you're going to have some, some bumps in the road, and then you got to learn from them. We did this spring. So I think all the guys, Travis has been, been a leader, and we got some new faces. So... Um, you know, but I like where we're heading overall. It's also probably too a bit of a challenge for Chuba and Casey, even though Casey is, you know, coming and wants to be a leader, but you can't just come in hot and yeah. start, you know, demanding and expecting. You have to earn it. And so probably he's treading a little bit lightly. And I think it will come in a hurry once he's on the field and plays a game. But right Great. now it's still kind of a work in progress. I think we, we've and we've talked about this a lot in the last four or five months. The leaders that stand out for this team are on the defensive side of the ball. They've been here a lot longer. The right. Garrett Nelsons and that, that whole group over there. Vokalek, yes, has been here a lot, but it does. Naturally, it has to kind of funnel through the quarterback. They're the ones that are guiding all this stuff. Absolutely. I mean, they, they have got to be the voice. And so, again, maybe it's, um, you know, not that neither one of them can do it because they, they both absolutely can. And we've heard both of them that, they have the potential to be great leaders, but I just think there's only so much you can do in so much time. Right. All right. Coach Frost made the comment the other day that this is Casey's job to lose as the starting quarterback. So Mark Whipple was asked, can you expound on that? What, what did the coach mean and, and how, to, how do, do you, are you in line with that thinking that it's Casey's job to, to lose? Well, yeah, I mean, he's got experience. He's played, you know, at, at Texas, and he's done a really good job, you know. And then yesterday we gave Chubba a lot more reps. He did a good job, and I was a little disappointed he didn't come back better today. And then, uh, you know, you need two, and Logan's the third right now, and he's, he's gotten a lot better and, you know, got experience in this day, you know. Guys just get hurt, hurt more. The game's faster, and uh, you, know, you don't want anybody to get hurt, especially the quarterbacks, but... You know, that would be the way, you know, Casey's getting one rep. Chubb is getting a lot of, they're splitting the one reps and, uh, um, you know, in situations and things like that. Plays, I go by plays more than a lot of times. If they haven't had a rep on a play or needed it, made a miscue on one, that they'll get, they'll get it, uh, you know, the next day. Here's my take on that. I still think it's clearly Casey's job, but you better have your two ready to go. I was just thinking that, yeah, I mean, you never know when you need him and just to be able to get him comfortable running the place with the guys around him in the ones and, and all of that. So in the situations, because I know that's a lot of it, too, is working through certain situations. So to get him those reps and, and making sure that he is comfortable at any given moment yes. when you might need him. I mean, Casey could get popped the third play of the game if you're, he's your starter, third play of the game. And all of a sudden, you shovel, go. It's your it's your go. It's your time to go. A lot of a lot of coaches when they retire, Jessica, they're always asked. What did you not do? And a lot of them say, I didn't get the backup quarterback ready. Yeah, yeah. That was that was my biggest thing. I was so focused on my starter, I didn't have my backup ready. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And it's just, it can be, um, you talk about taking a team that has all these goals and aspirations and then a quarterback, um, an injury to a quarterback can completely derail that for teams if you don't have someone that can step in and, and fill that 
fill that role. And I think Chuba can be a good, solid quarterback in this program. I, I mean, I, I've liked what I've seen, but I think because of the experience, it gives Casey a, a leg up. We're really going with this leadership theme. This was a big part of the Whipple talk today. The media was about leadership. So he expounds on more about it having to come from that quarterback position. No, it's been really good till today, but, you know, we hadn't really thrown a pick six and how you handle that and come back and, you know, um, you know, which we didn't do. We weren't too bad. We went to another series, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of just it's an it just evolves as it goes. It takes time. You know, it takes time with the things in the system. But this week, these three days, we put a lot of new stuff in so they get a chance to see it. And we'll go back over it, uh, you know, on the weekend. There's Mark Whipple talking about the quarterbacks and overcoming bad plays. It's part of it. You're going to make mistakes. It happens in every game. You're going to get hit, fumble the football. You're going to throw interceptions. You got to move on to the next play and not let that affect you. And uh, that's hard to do for some guys. It's but that's a huge part of the game. All right. Um, talked about Chuba in one of the earlier clips. Here he was asked about what, what does Chuba do well. What what have you liked that you've had him and the growth that you've seen since he stepped on campus um, seven eight months ago. Yeah, no, he can he can run, and he's he's a little bit bigger, and he's he doesn't have the experience Kate's he has. He can throw it. He's gotten a lot better. I keep forgetting. I told him this yesterday. I forgot. He, I keep forgetting they only had five practices in the spring, you know. And he's now he's getting a lot of and a lot of those were against the twos. It's different when he go from, against the twos and he going against our one defense. So that's really helped him. So I seen him take a, a big jump that way. And same with Casey, but Chavo more because he didn't have that many reps in spring. And that's consistent with what we've said the last four or five months. Because he didn't get a lot, I think the coaches really wanted to give him ample opportunity to see if he could compete for the job. Yeah, because I think he came on at the end of spring and did some positive things. And so being that he was kind of behind the eight ball and didn't get those opportunities, allowing for him to show what he can do. And and also, too, just again, before you absolutely name somebody, it just keeps that competition high. It pushes both of all of them the entire room and it allows again whoever that backup is probably chubba but allows him to be absolutely prepared for whatever situation he might be in all right uh, enough of the quarterbacks we'll leave you with this the running back is there a kind of an established order yet for the running back room in, in Whipple's eyes and, and these are these are reporters trying to get a depth chart out of, out of Mark Whipple he, he's smarter than that he played it pretty coy but here was his response about whether there is a pecking order in the running back room he's gotten better every day you know he's gotten better you know uh, he got some work in the summer with some some team stuff that way that the guys did on their own it helped them you know when you hear the play and then you got to go ahead and execute it but he's he's had a really good camp My bad. That was about Teddy coming back off the injury, so good thing there. But the pecking order in the running back room, he basically said, I'd like to have three ready to go. I don't know how he's going to get it down to three. Uh, that seems, I don't know. Good luck. Yeah, it just seems like, again, you've got certain guys that you could probably call upon that you might want to call upon more so than the others in certain situations. And so whether it might be for an offense and what you're doing, the majority of the time, maybe it's three, but again, I just can't believe that if you need somebody to <laughs> bulldoze somebody and not get tackled at the goal line that you wouldn't hand the ball off to yet. But we'll see how that evolves. They have one more scrimmage, Jessica. I think that's going to really, and after that, I think it's on the Northwestern. After you do that, I think you start to really say, okay, threes and fours, you go to this side of the field, ones and twos, you come down here, we're going to start putting in the game plan. Well, again, as we heard from Bill Bush say, too, it's even if the running backs aren't getting as much time getting, you know, handoffs and, and getting the ball in the offense, uh, there are running backs that are involved in special teams. And so you're going to see these guys involved. And I just, I love their approach to it. And, you know, as we heard Gabe talk about the other day with Coach Applewhite and just what he's um, stressed and brought to the group and, and just the mentality and physicality and all of that. I just, I think these, it's a group that, um, you know, he has high expectations for and, and whatever you're doing, wherever that might be, whatever impact you're called on to make, you better do it at a thousand percent. Right.
Or you're going to find yourself on the fifth string yeah. list moving yeah. forward. Jeremy in Texas on our text line says, I'm going to chalk today up uh, by saying it's mind games. Whip and Frost are playing down the, the good from the offense to make uh, Northwestern think we're struggling to get anything going. And boom, hang 55 points. Hope you're right. And hey, I, I think the offense has had really good days. I think even the defense would admit they've, they've lost some of the day battles. But I'm also not uh, – it doesn't bother me that if the defense wins more days than the offense – defense keeps you in football games I'm okay hearing that too absolutely yeah I mean and you also too never know like if he's saying just the maybe the twos and threes overall it was bad for the offense maybe the ones did all right right but the backups didn't have good yeah days. so you you never know what that means is over, I mean and again it's an entire offense and you want your entire offense to perform well but those twos and threes are important and you want to continue to develop those and there's still some battles some competition battles going out so you know who knows if it's everybody was bad or just um some people were bad right i think there were probably a couple turnovers today which again from the defensive standpoint we want to we see more that. of that yes. happening so like you said the other night it's tough if you're like in Scott Frost shoes because you want the offense to do well, but that means maybe your defense isn't very good. And if your defense is winning a practice, then you worry about your offense. So Yeah, I was standing next to Jeremiah at the scrimmage and um, there was a turnover. And of course, he is mad. And I'm like good. jumping up and down. Like I was excited. You we know, got, you, you always want to see that. I mean, that's just so huge. And it's just such a huge momentum changer. But he's like, no, you never want that. Uh, you know, of course, because he's an offensive guy, but I was like, yes, let's go. But, of course, that goes back to him and I battling it out. I, I was the defense on yeah. the spring game. He was the offense. Yeah, so. who won? The defense. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right, folks, what would you hear? Uh, also, Mickey, one, one last thing. Mickey Joseph also met with the media today, and this goes along with what we've talked about the last two months as well, that um, we're not sure who that top rotation is. And they go, do you have six? He goes, yep, some days. He goes, some days I have nine. So he said, and then he kind of went on. Consistency. Consistency. Trey Palmer was not out there today, wasn't feeling well, was the, what, the term we said. He was kind of felt ill, so he did not practice today. And he, he said, we've had some guys who've missed some practice with some nicks and bumps and bruises. He goes, sometimes you need to play through nicks and bumps and bruises. So that was a shot across the bow at somebody. Don't know who, but maybe somebody said, oh, I'm not feeling good today, coach. My hip is hurting a little bit. I'm not going to practice. Yeah, I mean, again, it, he just uh, holds him to a yes, high standard. Does. And he's hard on him. But, I mean, he loves him hard, but he is hard on him. And, again, you're going to hear from Marcus Washington. Talk. It's the same kind of messaging you're hearing from these wide receivers of why they love being coached by Mickey Joseph because he makes them better because of those expectations and the way that he pushes them. They know that in the end, that's what's going to benefit them the most and, and how they become the type of wide receiver that ultimately they want to become. All right, that wraps up our practice report being presented by Currency. Does your business need quick, easy, and secure financing for equipment, trucks, or traders? All you need is Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. All right, thoughts, folks. I know you have them out there. Love to hear them. 402-413-2400 with a call or a text. Again, that's our Sports Sunday Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. With 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned, you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. Back with some of your thoughts coming up next. It's time to amp up the fun. Now during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event. Just move on up. Get great offers on select Ford vehicles, and you'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So stop by the Summer Supercharged Sales Event at your Ford dealer and discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for information. Just move on up. How do you remember things? Post-it note, string around your finger, smartphone reminder? Whatever you do, remember Nebraska Pick 3 2x2 and My Day. Three great Nebraska Lottery Lotto games that are all $1 per play with drawings every day. Nebraska Pick 3 lets you choose your own bet type. 2x2 has a $22,000 top prize. And with My Day, you choose a six-digit date. Must be 19, please play responsibly. Oh, got a reminder. Produced Nebraska Lottery commercial. <laughs> I'm all over that. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time focus and dedication 
At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We are your shelter. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, T-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. SOS to the rescue. SOS to the rescue. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioner is out again. SOS, he screams and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared... You spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. It's time to amp up the fun. Now during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event. Just move on up. Get great offers on select Ford vehicles. And you'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So stop by the Summer Supercharged Sales Event at your Ford dealer and discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for information. Just move on up. The 2022 Nebraska Football Home Opener is right around the corner, and we can't wait to welcome the Sea of Red back to Memorial Stadium. Secure your spot as your Huskers take on North Dakota on Saturday, September 3rd at 2.30 p.m. for only $30. A limited number of tickets remain and are only available while supplies last. To get yours today, visit huskers.com slash tickets. Go Big Red. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you Wednesday night, 402-413-2400. That's the number to dot us up with a comment or question. We heard from Mark Whipple in the last segment. Today was practice three of their three-day stretch. They're off tomorrow. Get after it again Friday. And, and the last thing you want as a player is to kind of go into an off day with a bad day. So the offense is probably like, it's going to be a long 24 hours for them to sit, sit on that one. It's kind of like when you have a, in football, the bad thing with football is it's once a week. And if you have a bad performance, you have to wait an entire week. Other sports, it's maybe the next day or a couple of days, you can rinse that and move on. Football, you, it sits with you. Yeah, right. And that's, a, I mean, that's what I said earlier about 
man, it stinks to have a bad day going into your off day. <laughs> Normally you'd want to, you know, have a, a good day going into the day off, but um, you know, hopefully uh, they'll learn from it, bounce back, and now the black shirts will feel good. Yes, they'll feel they, good. They'll, they, like, yes. they'll take a lot of that. I guess but, they haven't handed those out yet. So. But yeah, I mean, and the worst of all of it is when you have a loss going into a bye week. That's the worst. Oh, ugh. it is. You sit there and you stew about it for. I'd two much rather have weeks. a bad day in fall camp going into an off day than a loss, <laughs> a loss going, going into a bye week. We have two of them this year. Two bye <laughs> yeah. weeks this year. So. Uh, yeah, so that, that's – there's no doubt. You, it's, you know, basketball, you, you play every three or four days. Baseball, you play sometimes every other every day. So it, football, though, it's the beauty and the beast of the sport. It's once a week. There's the buildup to it. And then either euphoria afterwards or complete disappointment for the next couple of days. It's a tough, uh, tough thing to do. I uh, had, had a great time today. We had a, an, a flag unveiling this morning. This will be the sixth year that um, – uh, the Huskers, Husker Sports has teamed up with the Ronald McDonald House. Terrific uh, charity house up in Omaha. The Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House. These are, these are where they, people that need long-term care for their youth and their family need some place to stay. They have rooms there for them to do it. In fact, I'm sipping out of the Ronald McDonald House Charities Cup that they gave me today. They unveiled a flag, and these are the flags that people will hang out their car, you know, that you put on the little stick and they hang out your window. So Big Red Friday is coming up the 26th of this month. Go buy any participating McDonald's, and you can purchase these flags. They've raised over $100,000 in the last five years for this because Husker fans are crazy and will go get everything. And this is the first flag that is a black shirt flag. It's got oh, the... That's it's got the the crossbones and all that. It's a cool looking flag. That's so, awesome. I've got to go get one for my brother. Oh, yeah. Well, you're, you're going to be in Ireland. You have to have Andrew go pick it up at McDonald's for you on that Friday. Okay. I will. I'll buy him so. a Big Mac, too, for going to get that. There you go. He, I don't think he ever took advantage of the sack last year. Did you ever take advantage of the Big Mac sack? You yet? I did it a couple times last year. So, yeah. No, he ate your other. When you got the two, That's right. I got the two. I brought him my second yeah. one. I don't think that ever got returned. No, you gave that back to me. I, I don't think I, I, you gave that back to me. I don't think that favor ever got returned back to me. But so Friday the 26th, folks, go buy your participating McDonald's. And most of them in the area, or pretty much every one of them in the area, will have the flags for sale. Goes for a great cause. The Ronald McDonald House up in Omaha. So we had a fun time today unveiling that. Former black shirt, Josh Banderas, was there to help uh, pull the pull the flag. Josh has finished up playing another year in the USFL. So it was good to see him, and uh, he was there to help uh, help us unveil the flag today. So thank you to the Ronald McDonald House folks for my, my cool little cup here. Which there is which water in, the, in there, right? Everybody in the chat, absolutely. Everybody in the chat room uh, has been noticing that I've been sipping out of my cool cup today. I mean, you know, I'm jealous of that cup. I love me a good cup yeah, like cool, that. Cool, it's red, you know? right? Colors, everything. Yeah. Hey, speaking of news and former uh, Huskers and black shirts, how about uh, Bustin' with the Boys will be back in town? They're coming back. Will can't get enough of Lincoln. He just <laughs> loves Lincoln, Nebraska. Well, and you notice all the guys that are working with him, he's converted into being Husker fans. Like, he has. He is, one guy is going through this recruitment process of who is the best fan base. So he just narrowed it down from 16 to 12. And the power rankings after the first initial rankings has uh, Nebraska in at number three. So he is, um, you know, going through the process of figuring out whose team he wants to be a fan of. And of course, Will is pushing to have Husker fans jump in on that. But, you know, everybody, I mean, even his co-host that came with him loved Nebraska when he came here. So T Tater Lewan, who's yeah. a Michigan Wolverine, now yeah. plays with the Titans, I think. That's where they kind of got together. It was when Will's with the Titans and Taters on the Titans team. Well, and they still want the Michigan-Nebraska game to be the Bustin' with the Boys Cup. I know. That'd be kind of cool. We don't play them every year, though. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, true. Now, they're coming for the North Dakota game. How hot will the bus be for the North Dakota game? I mean, hopefully they got some AC installed oh, since no. they were here the I last so. time. I don't think If not, I am not agreeing to record anything in that bus this year because it was miserable. And that was like... Late September, wasn't you, it, when they were here? If I'm sweating, just think about how bad Jeremiah was sweating. He's a sweater. I know. Yeah, he, so, he and then, but then Trev and Scott went and recorded an interview on there, and Trev went in a full suit, and it was just, it was miserable in there. It's pretty rare to see Trev not in coat and tie. It's pretty rare. Game days, he will, he'll, he'll dumb polo it down and, to a polo or a quarter yeah. zip or something, but during the week, he's buttoned up all the time. Uh, we, I think we're getting close to getting our first Trev 
athletic director show locked in for later this month. We take the summer off, but we will have one before the end of the month. I think we're going to do it when we get back from Ireland before the home opener, but we'll let you know. We did announce last night our first volleyball show with John Cook is next Tuesday. Our first Husker football show next Thursday. We will have the head coach here next Thursday. So Scott Frost will be here for a full hour on the 18th. So put that into your calendar as well. All right, 402-413-2400. That's the number to dial us up with a comment or question. Do you want to tell you about another ticket option that Husker Athletics is offering up? It's for the North Dakota game. That's the opener. $30 tickets while limited supplies last. Got to get them quick. This uh, just got announced today. Visit Huskers.com slash tickets, $30 tickets for the North Dakota game, which I'm told their fans have bought the most visiting team tickets of any of the seven opponents Nebraska will play here this year. So good for North Dakota. They'll be down here in mass to root on their team as well. All right, back with our last segment of Hour One next. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. The 2022 Nebraska Football Home Opener is right around the corner, and we can't wait to welcome the Sea of Red back to Memorial Stadium. Secure your spot as your Huskers take on North Dakota on Saturday, September 3rd at 2.30 p.m. for only $30. A limited number of tickets remain and are only available while supplies last. To get yours today, visit huskers.com slash tickets. Go Big Red. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A calming voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org slash huskers. Hey, Husker fans, it's time to gear up for the season. So let's do it right. Jerseys, hats, hoodies, and more. Shields has everything you need to show your Nebraska pride. Visit our fan shop online or in-store for the biggest and best brands in the game. You'll find the right gear to level up your team spirit with all the essentials for your pregame parking lot party. Shields, proud partner of Husker Athletics and football fans everywhere. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413. 2400 with your Husker thoughts. The 2022 Nebraska football home opener is right around the corner, and we can't wait to welcome the Sea of Red back to Memorial Stadium. Secure your spot as your Huskers take on North Dakota on Saturday, September 3rd at 2.30 p.m. for only $30. A limited number of tickets remain and are only available while supplies last. To get yours today, visit huskers.com slash tickets. Go Big Red. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <coughs> 402-413-2400 last couple of minutes here of hour one still time if you want to sneak a phone call or a text pat and granada wanted to know how do the huskers lines stack up with the teams they'll play this year as far as size i think nebraska is legitimately as big as anybody will play don't you i mean it's a, it's a big football team very big very big i mean again just going back to even when Nebraska played Oklahoma last year and the guys that kind of do the, essentially they're, well, I talked about Gay Bikert, who Jeremiah knows, and yeah. then uh, Teddy Lehman, who won the Buckus, and they had a podcast, and they were talking about, I mean, just how massive the lines were and 
way bigger than what Oklahoma has. So, yeah, I mean, I, I just think – and then let's look at Teddy alone. You can go on social Ty media Robinson. and Ty Robinson yeah. is big. But the entire O-line, I mean, remember last year – when the bus was here, bus with the boys and the O-line were going to talk to Will and Jeremiah took a picture with him and Jeremiah looked small compared to a lot of those guys. He was like the shorter guy yeah. on the bunch. So, yeah, I mean, it is a massive front line. Yeah, and, and, and O'Shawn's big and, you know, and Caleb Tanner's big. So even just beyond just the defensive line, the guys on the edge are big too. It's kind of a, 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 a trait of Big Ten football. And I think when Nebraska made the switch 11 years ago, I think all of us go, whew, we got to get bigger. Because you just you line up against Wisconsin and Iowa, those are mammoth teams. Ohio, so those are mammoth-sized teams. And it, in some ways, it can be a ground-and-pound league, a little bit more than maybe some of the other leagues. And so you better get big and physical. And it took Nebraska a couple years to get there. But I think now we, we look – Teams are warming up out there, and you, if it's us and Iowa or us and Michigan, you're going, we're just as big as those teams are. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they've got some some big guys. And even you look in the secondary, too, and Tommy Hill, I was noticing, I was like, he's big, and he's listed on the roster as six foot, but there's no way he's six foot. Right. I mean, he's got to be six two, six three, And so even some of the defensive backs have got some good length and size on them. And, and that was I think also what was brought in with some of these guys that Longer. Coach Fisher was looking for is getting some of that length. And yep. So there's some big guys even in the secondary. So from the front to the back, this is a big, there. big defense. Braxton Clark's pretty long. Deshaun Singleton, they, the yes. junior college safety, is a big guy. Miles Farmer's a big safety as well. Yes. Marquise is not. No. He's smaller. But, I mean, Javen Kate, Wright. Javen Wright is... Oh, is he an impressive-looking guy? Yeah. My good. I'm so glad he's healthy and getting a chance to compete. His dad was such a great player here in the 90s for the Huskers, and Javen just had all kinds of issues. And it was great to hear Chins earlier in the week on our practice report mention Javen is fighting for a spot in, in that nickel position. I'm excited. Is it apparent I'm getting excited? <laughs> I know. Right, let's go. I know. I feel like next week's going to be a long week. Yes, it is. Because it's kind of flown by, but then kind of with us too, we're, we're sick of, you know, just we're, we're, we're going through the same funk. Well, we might go through the, the same the funk. Is. It's just, it's the same thing, you know, like let's, let's be done with talking. Well, we season. tried to execute the worm last night. That did not go very well. No, it was it kind of not, a fail. It, it did not go well. I mean, I'm still waiting for you to do the Macarena. Yeah, I practiced today a little bit. So you I, did? I, yeah, I, I got to You downloaded I, the song? Yeah, and... I'll, I'll keep working on it. So. Okay, cool. We'll get it in the rotation of the playlist. Yeah, we'll, we'll Maybe pop we should there. start one of the football game broadcasts with the Macarena. With the Macarena. You, that could be your hype song. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll debate that. Hey, good to uh, <laughs> tell you to, time to tell you to buckle up, put that phone down, a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Coming up next hour, the quarterback got a chance to talk to Casey Thompson after about 10, 11 practices now. We'll have that. Marcus Washington, another one of the transfer portal additions, another Texas Longhorn. Uh, we'll hear from both of them next hour. Um, and great to hear from them. We'll, we'll, the players are now kind of off limits until next Tuesday. So this is the last crack for the media to talk to some players for almost a full week. Uh, but there's been a, a way a lot of access, right? The first couple weeks, I mean, they've made a lot of coaches and players available the first couple weeks. Great. Love it. Yes, and there's some excellent interviewees. Still waiting for your top five list. I'm going to have to break down my rankings and depth chart and all of that before going into the season. On your who's the best to talk to? Yes. Not going to be easy. I know. Someone asked me that yesterday. I was I was going through it, and it was hard. A lot of good good guys to talk to on this football team. All right, one hour down. What a fun hour. Coming up again next hour, Casey Thompson, Marcus Washington, more of your calls and texts as we're speeding our way toward this opener in Ireland in just 17 days away. Good stuff. All right, come on back. Hour number two on the other side. up on the text line text 402-413-2400 with your husker thoughts buy your next vehicle your way from anywhere with woodhouse start your journey online at woodhouse.com easily shop all new and pre-owned inventory explore payment options and apply for financing ready to purchase schedule your
your new vehicle for pickup from the dealership or have it delivered to your driveway. Need a little extra help in determining your perfect vehicle? Our knowledgeable and local dealerships can guide you to the vehicle that best matches your needs. Experience car buying your way with Woodhouse, a trusted auto partner since 1975. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffic's devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A calming voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org slash Huskers. Hey, Husker fans. It's time to gear up for the season, so let's do it right. Jerseys, hats, hoodies, and more. Shields has everything you need to show your Nebraska pride. Visit our fan shop online or in-store for the biggest and best brands in the game. You'll find the right gear to level up your team spirit with all the essentials for your pregame parking lot party. Shields, proud partner of Husker Athletics and football fans everywhere.
with the GoCurrency.com Sports Ticker. I'm Tim Mulhaupt on the Huskers Radio Network. Happy Wednesday, Huskers fans. Nebraska football once again made players and staff available to the media as we march on with fall camp. Offensive coordinator Mark Whipple discussed many topics regarding his offense in detail. You heard some of those in hour one. He did outline uh, his, his ideas for using his running backs on game day this coming season. Well, today, right now, we got a few of them down uh, health-wise. So, no, we haven't, you know, we'll play. I'd like to play three. You know, that's kind of what we did the last couple of years at Pittsburgh where, you know, but, you know, it's a long season. Big Ten's physical conference, so want to get them all worked that way. But we're running through all of them. I thought they had a really good scrimmage last last weekend and uh, have done, done a lot of good things. And elsewhere in college football today, Wake Forest quarterback Sam Hartman will be out indefinitely for a non-football medical condition per a statement released by Wake Forest today. Hartman helped the Demon Deacons to 11 wins last season. The university says it will not elaborate on the condition to respect his privacy, but encourage fans to show their support for the star quarterback. Demon Deacons head coach Dave Clawson did say he expects Hartman to return, but it's too early to tell any timetable so best wishes to a speedy recovery to sam hartman and good luck to incoming nebraska women's gymnast chenge bakai she is set to compete for team hungary in the 2022 european championships in munich germany that's coming up august 11th through august 14th over to pro sports tonight in major league baseball several games in action currently it's two nothing marlins midway through the fourth they're leading the phillies Still in a rain delay are the Blue Jays and Orioles. They're hoping to get that one started, but still that neck of the woods has been getting a lot of rain in the last couple of days. Top of the fourth scoreless game between the Braves and Red Sox. Midway through the third, it's 3-0 Guardians over the Tigers. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll see the White Sox and Royals, as well as the Rangers and Astros. Then the Cardinals and Rockies will meet at 740. At 840, it'll be the Pirates and Diamondbacks, and at 910, the Twins will meet the Dodgers in L.A. A lot of finals already today. A lot of matinee action in baseball. The Mets clubbed the Reds 10-2. The Brewers took down the Rays 4-3 in extras. The Cubs beat the Nationals 4-2. The Angels beat the A's in 12 innings 5-4. The Mariners surged for a late comeback against the Yankees 4-3. And the Padres flexed that offensive muscle 13-7. They beat up the Giants. Elsewhere in the MLB, the Detroit Tigers fired their general manager Al Avila today. He's been with the organization for about two decades, including the last seven years he served as their GM, and he was relieved of his duties today. He did tell the fans Detroit deserves a winner. And for any soccer fans out there, producer Andrew wanted to pass along that tonight, 7.30 p.m. Central on ESPN, the MLS is holding their all-star game. This update is presented by Currency. Currency makes financing quick, easy, and secure for heavy machinery, ag equipment, trucks, trailers, and more. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelp, and Hour 2 of Sports Nightly is next on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. It's a pistol set, then trees, trips to the near side. Snap back, stretch play right to Cook, hit and drop. He'll lose yardage. Garrett One. Nelson. Garrett Nelson firing from the backside, brings him down. It's a loss of two. It's now fourth down and three. Alex Rodriguez floats it over, pass by Eagleson, tight to the net, gets it back, swings, block back. Nebraska's got three blocks. Lucy Krause, the night of her life so far. It's 13-9, Big Red. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throw and pass, caught by Manning at the 10. Eludes a bottom maker to the five. One more Manning dive. Touchdown, Nebraska. Light diving dig Hampton the libero. Now Penn State right front. Johnny Parker greeted up by Rodriguez. Left front swing, Matty Kubik kill. 23-13, Lexi Rodriguez, a clinic thus far. Buster's second and goal to six. Two wideouts left, two to the near side. Ramir Johnson off to the right. They turn, give it off to Ramir, left side, comes back at the five. He's in, touchdown, Nebraska. Ramir Johnson's third rushing touchdown of the year. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. I like to start the hour with a little bit of humor. Rodolfo Castro is a Major League Baseball player. He got called up from the minors earlier in the week. He's played for the Pittsburgh Pirates. So in his first game, after getting called back, he draws a walk. 
Then a teammate of his gets a base hit. So he runs first to third, head first dive in the third base, and out of his back pocket comes his cell phone. Oh, Flying out no. of his back pocket. We well, are not supposed to have technology on the field. He said it was a total mistake <laughs> that he said he put it in his back pocket. But why would you even have your phone in the to dugout? document it? Come on, to document <laughs> your call up and to take some selfies. Oh and my gosh! So poor got, guy. And the IG, come on, you got to keep the Insta the updated. The um, umpire's like pointing at the phone, like you can't have that out here. So he's like handing it to the third base coach, and <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah. Tough whoopsie. Night. Yep, whoopsie. And he probably is going to get fined because you're not allowed to have technology even in the dugout. So I'm not sure why he even had it. He just said, yeah, I slipped it back there and just forgot all about it. And then there it was. He's probably posing for photos in his uniform and just put it in his back pocket yeah, yeah. and then just totally forgot that about it. That or he was trying to call, hey, mom, I'm on playing tonight. Turn yeah. on the game. I'm watch the game. Or making a date. Maybe he was trying to hook up a something for post game afterwards. I don't know. So... Rodolfo Castro. It's pretty funny. You can go find some video of it. They got a good picture of it on ESPN.com's website. The phone is kind of popping out of the back pocket when he makes his slide. Who who was it? Was it Terrell Owens that who did kind of a phone type thing in the NFL with a celebration? Was that? Was it Ocho Cinco that did that? Okay, so Chad Johnson was the guy that did kind of a phone thing. Yeah. Oh, T.O. did like the Sharpie thing, right? Yeah. Where he did. <laughs> Yeah. 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 The NFL guys have been more known for kind of some. This was not bad. This well, this guy wasn't trying to be. He didn't feel it. Like I wonder if he felt it when he was on base. Like he claims he didn't know it was there until all of a sudden he's diving and it pops out and the umpire's like, "Uh, your phone's right there." Because you'd think he'd like feel that in your pocket as you were running. I do or... when I'm like when I'm walking around. I know yeah. I put it back there. So mm. poor Rodolfo, that's that's too too bad on him. Welcome back, hour number two, Sports Honor here on a Wednesday night, 402-413-2400. If you want to pull your cell phone out and call us, we'll take those Ooh, phone calls. Here's like that. See how that segues I, right in there. That was awesome. Yeah, Very well done. Or you can text. That also works there. Season vet at this. Your mid-season in, form. We're going to hear from another season vet, Casey Thompson, who's played a lot of football. Uh, at the University of Texas, transferred to Nebraska, and looks like he'll be Nebraska's quarterback. You saw him today. Yep, and um, he was nice enough to chat with us, even despite he had to go straight to lift, literally ran straight from this interview to lifting. So here's Casey Thompson today after practice. All right, well, how's fall camp going for you? Fall camp has been going really good. Um, it's probably the best fall camp that I've had so far in my college career, but... Um, this is the best that the team has looked since since I've been here, and uh, I know Coach Frost has really been talking about you know how good the offense and defense looks, and uh, we have to continue to get better. I have to get better, but so far it's been going good, and I would say that we're taking the next step. We we look better than what we did in the spring, and um, we've made a lot of progress. I think the summer workouts that we did and all the walkthroughs and the meetings that we did in, in the off season have really paid off so far. Why is this the best fall camp for you so far? Just. Uh, I would say confidence, my arm strength, and uh, knowing where to go with the football. I would say um, just being efficient. Um, I've had a lot of days where uh, I would go like seven or eight out of ten or nine out of ten and to start the day in seven on seven or routes on air or in one on ones because that's always the first things we do. But uh, I've actually had a couple of days. I haven't had too many practices or games where I've had 100% completion. So anytime I start the practice and go 10 for 10 or something like that, or five for seven. Um, I don't know. I always, always have a couple of throws a day, and you've been at the practice. I always have a few missed throws, either in team or in seven on seven, where I'd like to fix. But uh, I'm getting closer to having almost, you know, a perfect practice. And I don't know if I'll ever have, you know, 100% completion day. But anytime I get, you know, nine or ten out of ten um, days like that, and uh, protecting the football for sure. I would say um, knowing when to throw the checkdowns, knowing uh, when to scramble, and just make plays when it's off schedule. Uh, I would say this is probably the best that I've protected the football uh, at any, any training camp or spring balls that I've had. That's awesome. What about health-wise and, and you taking the time to get yourself healthy over the summer? Uh, I don't, my, my mind, my body, my spirit, um, obviously everyone knows that I had a thumb injury last year uh, when I was at Texas. And so I would say I feel healthy, healthy right now. Um, I feel like I'm in a good place. Um, like I said, I'm in good spirits and I feel really healthy. And uh, just getting treatment when I need to and um, being able to recover the right way, you know, massage, chiropractor, cold tubs, uh, getting in the recovery boots. And so um, I've really tried to 
done a really good job this offseason of just trying to recover the right way. And uh, I would say this offseason probably taught me that recovery is just as important as performance and preparation. And uh, because, uh, because I had to take a little bit of time off uh, for a couple weeks right after spring ball, and I think we all did, but this is probably the first time in my football career that I've ever just taken a few weeks, uh, I would say, off. Um, physically, I was still watching film and stuff like that, but uh, being able to just recover and get my body into a good position, I, I feel really good right now going into the season. You've also added a couple more weapons. So how do you like the guys that are around you here and how they progress in, in fall camp, the running backs, wide receivers, tight ends? Yeah, for, I thought you were about to say I've added a few more pounds. I was going to say, <laughs> you know, do I look a little bit bigger? Um, but I have added uh, probably like five or six pounds since okay. I got here. So I'm like 198, 197 right now. So the report has me at 195, which is not true. I'm like, okay, we'll get that out there. I'm pushing. Yeah, I'm really like 200 before practice and like okay. 198 after practice. But yeah, we've, uh, we have more weapons now than we did in the spring. So. Um, more receivers, more talent, more competition, more depth in that position. The tight ends, we got Travis back, um, Travis Vokalek, we got Chance, you know, Brewington back. Um, in the running back room, you know, we got Gabe Irving who's back, and we got Anthony Grant, uh, Ramir, and those guys, and AJ Allen and Emmett. So I would say that it's just good to have depth in each position group, but it's been really fun. Um, Trey Palmer, obviously, he's an explosive receiver, and you've been at the practices, and you know, uh, Marcus has really taken a step, and those guys are making plays all over. Um, Omar, Alante. Um, it's just good to have uh, depth in the wide receiver room. The tight end position looks really good. And then the running back, you know, we got f four or five, six guys that can rotate and play. So, you know, it's up to the coaches to make that decision. But I really like where the offense is at as far as the weapons that we have in place. Last thing I got for you, how do you progress and get to where you guys need to be as an offense come Dublin and yeah. a couple weeks from now, you guys will be there practicing? Yeah. Just playing more football. Honestly, um, we need more practice reps. We need more game scenarios. We need uh, more um, end of game, end of half scenarios. And uh, we just really needed to lock in and really focus on uh, getting mental reps and just executing at a high level. I would say uh, right now going to, you know, two weeks out from our first game pretty much. So um, consistency and taking care of the football and just playing smart football on offense and defense. Um, as a quarterback, you know, I feel like I have to continue to do a good job understanding the situations, being accurate with the football, uh, knowing where my checkdowns are, knowing my protections and just doing my job. And I feel like that if we continue to take the next step and being more consistent and doing our jobs and uh, also taking care of the football. And then, uh, you know, I know the, the coaches talked about today. We just need to stay uh, positive and, and be able to battle through adversity whenever it gets tough and late in the games or late in the practices. So going into the season, like I said, just being more consistent and uh, getting ready to play Northwestern. Appreciate your time. Thank you. We'll add that to that list of uh, good interviews that we were just talking about earlier. But no, how about he, he wanted to make sure that, hey, he's at 200 before practice. He's put on some weight, but you can just tell he feels really good and um, getting healthy and get, making, it, making sure that he was completely ready to go for this fall camp. And it's, it's paying off for him, as he, you heard him say, it feels like this is the best fall camp he's had in his college career. Having a hand that's not right is not good for a quarterback. I mean, right. It's just you got to be able to grip the football, to put zip on it, to put it where you want to put it. And it, for him to feel like now he's right, that's fantastic. That is, I mean, you don't want any kind of injury to a quarterback, but if you say, I'm, I'm going to do something with an arm, you run it maybe the hand and the elbow or the shoulder. And those are hard things to overcome. Yeah. It's good yeah, to hear. For sure. Uh, a lot of people were calling in saying Joe Horn was the guy that had the flip phone in the National Football League. So I knew somebody had done it that. Did that phone thing? I mean, well. they all do. And then remember the, um, it was, um, gosh, who was it that jumped into the um, pot? The uh, the Make a Wish pot. It was it was Ezekiel Elliott, yeah. When he jumped I, right, into, and he got right. fined for that. He did get fined for that. Yeah. Some of the antics in the NFL. I love pretty, it. I pretty love wild it. stuff. All right, phone lines open for you. Text lines as well, 402-413-2400. It doesn't have to be about flip phones or anything like that. It can be Husker-related stuff. We can, we'll take those as well. We're back to get some more reaction from you. Also, we're going to hear from Marcus Washington, another former Texas Longhorn that has found his way to Lincoln, Nebraska. He was catching passes a year ago from Casey as a Longhorn. Now they're both in Husker Red. Our Sports Sunday Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. More of the show coming up next. Do you want your date to wait for your interlock device to let you drive? 
your kids to ask why you have an ankle bracelet? Or your boss to see your criminal history? Do you want to miss important life events because of house arrest? Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. How do you remember things? Post-it note, string around your finger, smartphone reminder? Whatever you do, remember Nebraska Pick 3 2x2 and My Day. Three great Nebraska Lottery Lotto games that are all $1 per play with drawings every day. Nebraska Pick 3 lets you choose your own bet type. 2 by 2 has a $22,000 top prize. And with My Day, you choose a six-digit date. Must be 19, please play responsibly. Oh, got a reminder. Produced Nebraska Lottery Commercial. <laughs> I'm all over that. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at Nebraska Chiropractic. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. It's time to amp up the fun. Now during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event. Just move on up. Get great offers on select Ford vehicles, and you'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So stop by the Summer Supercharged Sales Event at your Ford dealer and discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for information. Just move on up. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Save with low price lockdown from High V. We've locked down prices on hundreds of your favorite everyday items. Prices are locked down for months and months on major leading name brands. The products that you like, the products that you want, and products that you'll want to stock up on. And all of the prices are locked down until we unlock them and lower them even more. Low price lockdown. Deals you can't beat anywhere. Only at High V. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raised local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. Hey, Husker fans, it's time to gear up for the season. So let's do it right. Jerseys, hats, hoodies, and more. Shields has everything you need to show your Nebraska pride. Visit our fan shop online or in-store for the biggest and best brands in the game. You'll find the right gear to level up your team spirit with all the essentials for your pregame parking lot party. Shields, proud partner of Husker Athletics and football fans everywhere. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It's sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. It is a Wednesday night. Tomorrow night, we're going to have 
preseason football going on in the NFL. You're going to have that uh, game over in the cornfields in Iowa for baseball. There'll be some cool stuff going on tonight. How about this? The Cleveland Browns are set to start Deshaun Watson in their Friday preseason game against the Jags because apparently the suspension is for the regular season, not preseason. So he's going to trot out there Friday night. It's it's kind of mind-blowing, too, because wouldn't you think you'd want to get somebody else ready if yeah. you don't even know what his status is going to be? Especially to start the season. Well, and he's accepted the six-game penalty. Yeah. So he's definitely missing. But if that. it's an appeal, will that still? No. That's what I was wondering. If if they're still fighting what the actual outcome is, will he'll will he still be available to play? I guess up until that point. Yeah, I don't. Do they that, come to a final conclusion? That I don't know the answer. Just the whole thing's just weird. It's just really weird. But preseason football tomorrow night. There'll be games. There are games Saturday, Friday. Pretty much all weekend, you can see some NFL preseason games. For those of you who are just ready to see any kind of football going on, and there's a lot of people out there that are like that. Have you watched any of the Hard Knocks? I feel like it's pretty good. Is it the Cardinals? It's the Lions, right? Oh, it's the Lions. Oh. Oh, they're doing wow. an in-season thing didn't know with the that. Cardinals. I did not know that. I saw something with Aiden Hutchinson, the former Michigan defensive lineman who was the number two pick by the Lions, got up and sang in front of the team or something. Yeah, a little Michael Jackson brought down the house. Of that. Billy Jean. It was it was a crowd favorite for nice. sure. Yeah. I wonder if Marcus Washington can sing. I don't know. We'll have to start asking these guys if they, yeah. can, if they can perform at all. Absolutely. You had a chance to catch up with him after practice Yeah, today. first time that I uh, got a chance to talk with him. So um, here is Marcus Washington. All right, well, how's it going? How's fall camp going for you? Uh, fall camp is going very well. Um, just focusing on getting better as a team, focusing on um, just putting everything together, getting the offense to combine and just come together so we can put together a good season. Take me back to when you decided to transfer and, and why it felt like Nebraska would be a good spot for you. Uh, after I transferred, t uh, talked to a couple schools, um, furthest talked to Nebraska, and like, I just like the overall vibe, uh, the players I related to well when I came up on a visit, um, and I like the offense, the system, so I felt it was a perfect fit for me. What's it been like working with Mickey Joseph? Uh, very good. I like Mickey a lot. He uh, pushes me very hard. Uh, tells me about the flaws in my game, what I need to work on, also tells me what I'm good at so I can focus on, like, you know, if I need to make a play, you should go to this move. So I just like, I like, um, he coaches me, like, throughout all the parts of the game. Uh, being that you got here, you missed the spring and got here a little bit later, what did you do to go about getting ready so that you could come in and, and make an immediate impact and fit right in? Uh, for the most part, I just had to study the playbook. Um, just get the verbiage, get the uh, language all together, just kind of translate it over because both were West Coast offense and so some similarities. And that was the biggest thing to me, just knowing where I have to line up and what I have to do. And then from there, figure, figuring everything else out. How good was it that you already had the chemistry and, and relationship with Casey? Uh, definitely helped out a lot. He, um, when I first got here from day one, he's been helping me with the offense, how to learn it, like what the coaches are thinking, what he's thinking, what I should be thinking, you know, and we've just been back and forth talking. So he's helped, definitely helped out a lot. And you, you mentioned the offense that you like. What, what do you like about this offense? Uh, he, he gets the ball to uh, who needs to get the ball to. So, like, I'm, I'm, I'll leave that all to him. I just like the offensive schemes, the uh, play calls and all of that. And obviously there's a lot of talent and competition in the defensive back room too. So what's that been like for you going up against the defensive backs here in fall camp? Uh, they definitely be giving me good, good work. So uh, we've been working with each other, just trying to make each other better. Um, they win some, I win some. Uh, and that's how that goes. And now that you kind of get, I mean, gosh, two weeks from now being Dublin, um, you f like the way that this offense is progressing? Yeah, for sure. We just got to connect on a few things. Uh, tighten up a few things, but I love where the offense is going, where it's headed, and um, we're going to see come week zero. <laughs> and I know you've played in some big-time college atmospheres, but how excited are you about playing in front of Husker Nation inside the stadium? Uh, very excited. I didn't see a uh, few clips, like they make the stadium red, and so I'm uh, very excited to perform in front of Husker Nation, and I hope you guys are excited to see me. Appreciate your time. Welcome to Lincoln. Glad to have you here. Appreciate you. He's fit right in, it seems like, and has been pretty comfortable in this offense. So he you know, obviously did what he needed to do to be able to be inserted right away and 
there's no denying that Casey and, and him already have that connection and because of the history that they have there. And so, yeah, I mean, he's, I think he'll, he'll be a good weapon that will make some plays for this offense. And I think he's fitting in pretty well with Mickey Joseph. Yes. And I, I think that's a huge part of this too. Those guys, I think, really respect Mickey, even though he's tough on them. Yeah, I mean, he likes it. I mean, you heard him just talking about it's all the different aspects. And I just think up for a lot of wide receivers, they've had – you know, wide receiver coaches in the past, but then to have someone that can take your game from one level to the highest level, you know, and, and the proof is in the pudding, seeing what he's done with, with wide receivers in the past. I just think they know that if they trust in what he does, they're going to get him, he's going to get them where they want to be. Yeah. Good to hear him. Marcus Washington. I think, you know, people keep asking us who's in that top six rotation for wide receivers. I think he's in there. I think he's one of those guys we talked about of the six, three of them could be some transfers with Trey Palmer, the LSU transfer, Marcus from Texas and Isaiah Garcia Castaneda from New Mexico State. I think those are probably three of your top six right now for this offense. And I think all three have really big skills. Yeah, I do too. And you know, I just – and Marcus Washington looks pretty big out there compared to some of the other wide receivers. You know, he's got – A little got bit bigger body. Length, and, and he's made some good plays. And it seems like, you know, as much as you talk about his relationship with Casey, it seems like he and Chubba have good connection going on too. Right. So, um, you know, I just think he's going to be a guy that um, they're going to feel comfortable throwing the ball to, and he will be a, a guy that will, if Trey Palmer starts getting double teams, that could potentially have, have big days. And that's where when you start getting some double teams on the outside, that's where those tight ends then come into it. That's where Vokalek can sneak down the middle of the field and maybe be wide open. And I, I, I'm getting excited about this offense. And I think, you know, people are so anxious to see what it's going to look like with Mark Whipple aboard. And, and Scott Frost has talked about, well, we're kind of taking stuff that we've done here in the past with stuff that Mark Whipple has done in his career and kind of putting the two together. That's going to be a fun playbook. And by the way, it's been in the chat room a couple times tonight. Mark Whipple will be calling the plays. Now, Scott Frost obviously will be on the headset and can make suggestions. And, you know, he can be, maybe be the guy to overrule something at some point in time in a game. But it's going to be Mark Whipple's calls. Yeah, I mean, I think that's been pretty evident at practice. And um, I think uh, you just hear over and over again from these uh, offensive players how much they like this offense. And it's not like any of these guys are the only one are getting – Trey Palmer's making a lot of plays. We've heard that. But the, the way that the ball is spread around and the way that there are lots of opportunities for guys to get involved, yeah. and they're really excited about that. Going to be fun. All right, 402-413-2400. That's the number if you want to be a part of the show with a call or a text. Nebraska 811 says, go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, and it's the law. More of the show coming up next. Find your next truck at Woodhouse Buick GMC. No matter where you're heading or what tasks need tackling, there's a premium and capable GMC truck that's perfect for you. Make a statement on the job site, out on the town, or wherever life leads you in the powerful and distinctive Sierra 1500. Or elevate your driving experience in the adventurous and innovative canyon. Explore our inventory online at woodhousebuickgmc.com or visit our indoor showroom today. Woodhouse Buick GMC. We are professional grade. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. During the summer of 2021, three UNL students helped safeguard cattle across the state. Neely Anderson, Tatiana Jones, and Ashton Commons developed secure beef supply plans that prevent the spread of disease outbreak. The plans protect nearly 850,000 cattle across our state and provide greater economic security for this vital industry. The 2022 Nebraska Football Home Opener is right around the corner, and we can't wait to welcome the Sea of Red back to Memorial Stadium. Secure your spot as your Huskers take on North Dakota on Saturday, September 3rd at 2.30 p.m. for only $30. A limited number of tickets remain and are only available while supplies last. To get yours today, visit huskers.com slash tickets. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe health care should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. 
Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. Did you ever buy something and get more, more than you expected? Emeritus offers insurance, employee benefits, and financial services, but we deliver so much more. The comfort of a human voice when you need it. The confidence of flashing a beautiful smile. The relief that your family can keep living the life they love. The serenity of knowing you've planned well and can enjoy life. That's what we really deliver. We call it fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services, and much more. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. It's time to amp up the fun. Now during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event. Just move on up. Get great offers on select Ford vehicles, and you'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So stop by the Summer Supercharged Sales Event at your Ford dealer and discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for information. Just move on up. Seasons change, but your land stays the same. You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment, your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam, Acres has what you need to get the job done. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Save with low price lockdown from High V. We've locked down prices on hundreds of your favorite everyday items. Prices are locked down for months and months on major leading name brands. The products that you like, the products that you want, and products that you'll want to stock up on. And all of the prices are locked down until we unlock them and lower them even more. Low price lockdown. Deals you can't beat anywhere. Only at High V. Oscar football offering a couple of fun ticket packages for the upcoming year. The North Dakota game, which is the home opener on September the 3rd. It's a 2.30 kick. They're offering $30 tickets while limited supplies last. You can go find those at huskers.com slash tickets. We've been telling you about the OU plus two mini plan. One Oklahoma ticket, two tickets to that North Dakota game, two tickets to the Georgia Southern game for $270. And then the Big Ten mini plan, where you can just buy tickets to the Big Ten home games. Indiana, Illinois, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Again, all the information can be found online at huskers.com slash tickets. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Wednesday night, motoring our way through the 10th of August. There will be a first Husker home event of this school year is Friday night. Husker soccer team will entertain Tulsa in an, their final exhibition match at Hibner Stadium. They'll drop the ball at 7.05 out there. So it's going to be warm, but get on out there. They, I saw them put out something today. They got like popsicles or something oh. after their practice today. So they said a nice icy treat after a hot practice That's today. awesome. So Husker Hopefully, soccer. Yeah. They should uh, make those available at the game on Friday. I thought that's what you were going to say. Is no, I wish they would. They were going to hand out popsicles. You know, we were talking the other night about pickle juice, and I think was it was it Jeremiah that likes to drink pickle juice? I don't the know. The people just say that is so good for your body that it gets you a lot of nutrients, and they said a good way to do it is make pickle juice Popsi- popsicles. Like, yeah, yeah. Pickle sickles. Pickles. Yeah. Pickle sickles. Pickle sickles. So, I'm not, I, I like pickles, personally. I don't know that I could drink much pickle juice, though. Yeah, I mean, isn't that when people get cramps and stuff? It is. Yeah. That's what they give them. Um, I, I like pickles a lot. I could eat a whole jar of pickles, but I'm not one to sit there and drink Drink the juice. Because do you save the juice when your pickle jar is empty? I don't. No. I usually toss it in the, yeah, pour I it do. down the drain. I definitely am not making pickle sickles. 
man, we've gotten into cell phones being on plain surfaces and pickle juices tonight. That's a, it's a pretty diverse <laughs> thing that we've been able to pick up on but yeah pickle juice has a lot of nutrients that for cramping and those type of things it's so for these if you're a high school coach you're driving home tonight and you're out there practicing right now with football or maybe your softball team's practicing right now you might want to have some pickle juice somewhere on the bench for for your athletes to get them going or if you're going to go sit in the stands for a game right now you might if you're a spectator too. sitting in the scorching sun at least so with the soccer stadium it's the sun kind of goes down you can have some shade and right? their stands are on the west so yeah. yeah the the stands will be completely in the shade so seven o'clock friday night him to say no charge because it's an exhibition game so it's free to come in and watch the huskers they had a, uh, an exhibition match on sunday with uno zero zero nil nil tie uh, for that one and now tulsa and then it's off to the real games that start next week for that husker volleyball went through another two-a-day session today so they're through practice four already uh, no media availability until next week in our first volleyball show next Tuesday night. I'm anxious to see how some of those position battles are going volleyball. Yeah, I mean, they're even talking about some competition. They've got it. So I would, gosh, you would think, and I think they brought this up last year, but they have enough for two teams that would both be ranked in the top 10. Right. Uh, <laughs> or top, sorry, like top 20, 20, top 15, yeah. That's why that red-white scrimmage on the 20th will be fun to go watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It will be a battle. So that was, again, nostalgia here. That was my first big Did you event. go to the scrimmage Yes, last I year? did. And I think we're going to do the same thing where we do live interviews and, and have the mic out there. But I remember, like, you know, I, I knew that it was a big deal and that Husker Volleyball, that fans show up. But I just, I remember the feeling I felt pulling into Devaney and being overwhelmed at the long line of cars to get into a volleyball scrimmage yeah. when... You know, again, a lot of places don't get that kind of crowd for a basketball game, right. a men's basketball right. game. Let alone. And so, you know, I, I thought that I was prepared and I was not prepared until that day. And, and but it, boy, it was so fun. It was so awesome. So I'm yes, I said, sign me up. I'm not missing it again. So I'll be there on the 20th. Six o'clock for that. We're going to carry that on the network. So we'll put JB and Lauren to work uh, that night. That'll be our first kind of official broadcast of the new school year. We'll be that red, white scrimmage on august the 20th our football pregame coverage will begin at 7 30 on the 27th it's at 11 30 kickoff here 5 30 in dublin so the sun will be not going down but it, it, it'll be later in the day when we kick that thing off when we're over there in a couple of weeks yep and who knows what the weather is going to be but could be wet could be cool could that's, be nice pleasant so. as i said i'm trying to figure out my suitcase uh, situation and what I need to pack but um, to make sure that I'm covered for all things but I'm kind of cold natured so if you know like we were saying last night for them like 70 is hot right. well that's not necessarily hot for me <laughs> hope it doesn't rain you just don't want to you know you don't want I, I feel like Nebraska is going to be the better team and when you're the better team you don't want bad weather because that can right. kind of neutralize things uh, so hopefully we have a dry surface to play on that night. As you informed me last night, I did not know. Their surface is a combination of grass and artificial surface. It is. It's a, a combo of both. Wow. Yeah. I guess I should pull that interview back out with the guy that works with the stadium, the stadium manager. He broke it down. Of And they are, boy, they baby that thing. I was not even on the actual playing. I would have been on the out of bounds of it, and I got yelled at to step off the surface so really? they, they take really good of care of it and i mentioned that it was going to have um they were going to redo it in july so this will be the first actual game that's being played on this turf and the stadium roof you'll remember in those interviews it's a little bit weird where it's not completely covered but right. it's kind of got a weird wompy jaw type Covers some of the upper deck seats yeah and stuff. yeah yeah so it'll it's kind of like a dome type thing so it's uh, pretty from the outside it is it's and it's because they couldn't there is a regulation where they couldn't build so they wouldn't block the sun of a neighborhood. It goes down. So, like, in one end zone, there's only, like, four or five rows of seating. Wow, And then really? the other goes way up high or, well, pretty up high. And is there, like, a river or a lake outside the stadium? Yeah, there's, like, a river type thing. It's a river. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, are you surprised that the players seem as excited as they are to go on this trip? No, I'm not. I mean, I just, I think that for... A lot of these players, and even, I mean, I've said myself personally, I don't know if I'd ever have this opportunity, and so I think they're really excited, but I think, um, you know, playing in that kind of environment, new environment, but also just the magnitude of the game, I just think all of it 
embodied because it's not like they're going to be able to go over there and explore a bunch. Right, but I not. just think being able to experience it and um, yeah, I think they're super stoked about it. Should be fun. I, you know, it's a great opportunity for them and I hope they get it done. I know they're going to work in a couple of things uh, during the week on, on Wednesday and Thursday for the players after practice to go see something. I, I don't I haven't seen the full details, but they'll have a couple of chances to get them out of the hotel and let them see a little bit of Dublin. Northwestern's doing it different. They're coming a day later, and because they don't play the next week, they're staying till Monday. Oh, wow. So they're going to give them all day Sunday to go explore. Wow. So they're going to have a full day because they don't play in the next yeah. Saturday. Nebraska well, does. So we got to get back. Cool for them. So, yeah. So they, they're, they're showing up on Wednesday. We're going to get there on Tuesday. So a little bit different approach to the way they get that game going. But it should be fun. I know a lot of, a lot of fans are headed over there on excursions that will in fact they may be leaving a week or so out so like not this saturday but the next saturday i think a lot of the tour groups that are going to go spend a week or 10 days over there are going to be over there so the game is kind of the back end of their trip so they'll have already done all the touristy things and then the game happens and then they fly home sunday or monday yeah there's a lot of neat things that i think are being planned and for those trips and we're still working on trying to get somebody to, to give us all the lowdown to, for fans that are going to be prepared and, and what to do and what you can look to do if you have some free time. And um, hopefully we get that lined up before we go. Um, but I, I'm excited and more than anything, just excited that it's almost here, like that it's a game week. Even it's in Ireland, but it's finally going to be here. game week. Right. And a great, just a great opportunity. I'm so happy for some of our alums and, and for fans of the program. This is a really cool place. This is maybe somewhere you wouldn't go. You wouldn't go and take the time to do this. And now you are with the football game as kind of the carrot at the end to go maybe see Scotland, go see Ireland, and go uh, go have a good time and tour. So I know a lot of people are taking advantage of that. Over 10,000 Husker fans expected to be there in, in a couple of weeks. 402-413-2400. That's the number to dial us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. Sam in Omaha says we need to get Connor McGregor to the game he is an irish guy maybe i don't know if he's back home maybe i've I heard know. a couple of the players asking on about that if mcgregor will be there he'll be on the sideline a lot of good golfers are from i think padrick harrington is actually from dublin I, I rory's would, rory's in ireland yeah guy. i was gonna say if rory was there i'd probably fan girl out on that rory is probably playing in the fedex playoffs that week i think that's the final week of the the fedex thing uh, that's going to be interesting. That starts this week, and uh, they're still in the courts fighting the live golfers and trying to deal their way, make their way through all of uh, that. Uh, buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We need to slip our final break of the night in. We're back to wrap up tonight's show, but still time for you to be a part of it. 402-413-2400. More of the show coming up next. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. Are we still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Autocorrect. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A calming voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org slash huskers. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. 
At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <coughs> Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Wednesday night. Our phone lines, text lines wide open for you, 402 402- 413-2400. Any thoughts you might have, uh, we certainly can address those here in the last few minutes of the program tonight. Huskers, we met with the offensive coaches today after practice, and they were not happy. They did not have a good day. Mark Whipple was pretty adamant that this was uh, their poorest practice of the, the first three weeks of camp and said the defense got the better of them today. Uh, but did say, up until this point, we've had a really good camp. And I think the, the team has kind of hit those really dog days of camp where the excitement of being here and starting is over and the northwestern game is still just a little too far out of reach and so you're going to have those kind of days i personally liked the honest assessment of what today was too often we get caught up and everybody's saying everything's great rosy and fantastic when you know that it's not day after day after day and your season's not going to be that way week after week after week so i think today could be a good learning lesson for the guys yeah and Obviously, there's a lot of media that covers this team, and all of them heard that, and that's big, the, been the big thing that oh, yeah. you're seeing all over social media. Those guys are on social media, so you're also seeing that. And as we talked about earlier, too, just um, don't love having to take that into a off day. So they'll uh, hopefully be fired up about that, being able to sit on it a little bit and come back and be ready to go for Thursday after, or wait, Saturday. What day is today? I'm Today's so Wednesday. off. Today's They're off tomorrow, so the Friday. I don't Back even know what day it is. So. Practice on Friday. That's so. it. It's like, for me, right now, this kind of stresses me out because it's not, there's no consistency. So people ask me, oh, man, football season gets crazy. Well, to me, there's actually like consistency to your schedule. Yeah. And so it's easier to manage because you're like, okay, you know what you're doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Is is it a lot? Yeah, but it's you know what you're doing every single day. Right now, it's just all over the place. Correct. Yeah. Cash on our text line said, hey, I have lots. I've heard lots about how Mark Whipple is a pass heavy coordinator. Will that mesh with what Scott Frost already had in place? I, I don't know that that's the fair assessment of Mark Whipple to say that he's a pass happy offensive coordinator. We, we kind of got into this a few weeks ago where people, well, even Pat Narduzzi, Pitt's head coach, took some shots at Mark Whipple about he just refused to run the football. Then you go back and look at the stats of their games, and it's like it was pretty much 50-50. I think Mark Whipple's a smart enough guy that if they can run the ball and that's the best way to move and score, they're going to do that. If they need to throw the football to move the ball and score, they're going to do that. Yeah, I just think because of last year and the way that they did throw it a lot because you have a Heisman Trophy finalist quarterback and a Bolitnikoff Award winner at wide receiver, that was a good matchup and that was hard for teams to defend and so they had a lot of yardage and you know passing touchdowns because that was what worked for them but you know if you look at just what what actually was done because 
my, probably, and again, we'll see, we'll, we'll learn more, is that a lot of times it's that run game that opens up the passing game. And right. so you have to be able to rely on both. And as we've gotten into really at length here is, is look at the last however many teams that have won the national championship, they are very balanced offenses. And so you got to be able to do both now, now in age. The best thing you just said was right there with Pitt's strength last year. When you have a top-notch quarterback, a first-round pick-type quarterback, you're probably going to throw the football. That's your best player. You want your best player to do your things. And so I think Nebraska's got a lot of talent at all the positions, skill positions, wideouts, running backs, quarterbacks. I think this will be a pretty balanced group week in and week out. Appreciate the, uh, the text. Also got a text saying, I love dill pickle juice. Go Big Red. Mm. The yeah. takeaways, Jessica, tonight from the show are going to be about pickle juice and cell phones. Cell phone we talked celebrations, about cell phones. yep. Yeah. It's crazy. But does that texter, he loves pickle juice, but does he love pickle sickles? Pickle sickles, you may have just stumbled upon a new terminology. I think they've been called that. I don't, I don't know if I can claim that. I mean, I will if I need to, but I don't think I can. Then a text, also special teams, how are they looking? I haven't heard much about them. Uh, Bill Bush met with the media sometime last week. My days are like yours, or kind of get all mixed up. But he's very happy with the way that his kicker and punter are hitting the ball. He feels like they've got some really dynamic returners, which that has not been a part of Husker football for several years. Uh, guys like Trey Palmer certainly can do some of those type of things. I think that, I think that will be the biggest improvement of this football team, will be special teams from the way they get explosive plays in the kick return game and the consistency of both Bleak Road, who we did hear from last night on the program, and Brian Buschini, the punter. Yeah, and again, just to be a team that wants to go do the goals that you set out at the beginning of the season, you just have to be solid in all three phases. And last year, you know, if you look at what the offense did statistically, they were right up there among the best in the Big Ten. Defense obviously kept them in a lot of games, Did. and, had, and even d having to play a lot of a lot of minutes out there, they they you know were definitely solid and shut down a lot of high potent offenses. At Ohio State, Oklahoma, two of those that usually typically put up massive numbers, and so you know to be able to add that third element and not for it just to exist, but for it to be a weapon. It, it, you just you need to have that. And so I think now you've got some guys in the special teams that are going to be weapons that could actually provide big-time benefits for your football team. And, and it's just, gosh, the momentum swings that you get from a big special teams play, whatever it might be, a big field goal. I mean, at the scrimmage the other day, Timmy kicked a big field goal and everybody went nuts, yeah. you know? So it's just, uh, it just they, you feed off of that. Oklahoma Husker and a text line said, in Oklahoma, they are called Pickle Pops. Pickle Pops. I, so there I'm you go. from Oklahoma, but I've never heard of them called Pickle Pops. We've lost Andrew. He's locked into the MLS All-Star game that's going on right now. I so didn't even kinda, know that existed. He's checked out on us. we got a great show tomorrow night. Brendan Stye, one of our faves, is going to be here. We haven't talked to Brendan in a couple months. He's going to be here to talk about his thoughts about this football team. Uh, Thoughts about what's going on outside the window here in the new facility, which he's been raising money for for the last couple of years. So can't wait to break down things with, with Brendan tomorrow night on the program. We'll also hear from Colton Feast, who his name came up early in the week from defensive coordinator Eric Chenander, a walk-on defensive lineman who he says is going to play. He's, he goes, I don't know that he'll start, but he's going to play for us this year. Absolutely, providing that depth. And Ty Robinson really pointed out that – He's a guy that's come along, and um, you know I think that that rotation is coming along for. And that was an area that you were concerned about at the end of spring, but I think now you, you, you got up that depth and rotation. And before we run out of time, I do want to mention because Andy Harris said it in the chat: ranch packet in your pickles. Remember, I brought that up one oh, yeah. time. It is delicious. Really? Highly recommend it. All Put right, a I ranch need... packet in your pickles. Okay, I'll need to try that. Yep, I'll try that. Um, all right, so that'll be tomorrow night's program. No football practice tomorrow. In fact, we will not get any availability with players until next Tuesday. So, but great to hear from Casey Thompson tonight and Marcus Washington as well. So, folks, go buy you some ranch packets, <laughs> get your pickle jars, <laughs> and mix then, the two together, and have fun. And then make pickle sickles. Or pickle pops, whatever you decide, <laughs> decide to call. Thanks to Andrew and Tim and all of you for listening tonight. Have a great night. We'll do it again tomorrow. Good night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker Athletics. Having a competent teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most. With a proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. Visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe health care should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raise local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. It's more than a Lincoln, it's your Lincoln. Custom order your next luxury SUV with Woodhouse Lincoln today. Choose from the full range of Lincoln models and curate every detail to your deepest desires. From exterior color down to each accessory, our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff will guide you to your next vehicle. Begin your custom order journey online at Woodhouse.